So in the overview tab, you, you will be able to immediately see uh, what is happening across your operations. You will find high level view of tickets that have been enriched with intelligence triage. You can also compare the tickets that were not enriched and that are available on your account. So you can spot trends and opportunities. At the top, you will be able to see the filters here by brand, channels and groups, which allow you to quickly go through this. One thing that you see is that you will be able to check what are the most current requests that you have so you can understand what are uh, the main reasons your customers are uh, reaching out. You can see the, the top languages uh, and the overall sentiment distribution. One popular request that uh, we had was to understand what were the tickets that were being reached with AI and what which ones weren't. We have this distribution by intent, language and sentiment, and you are even able to see it by channel and role. If we jump into the intent tab, you will be able to see uh, these filters by intent, subcategory and the confidence. And with these um, filter options, you will be able to drill down and make further uh, analysis into your data. If one of your major goals is to increase automation, you can, for instance, filter by the high confidence ticket um, intents, and you will be able to create some specific automations based on this, understanding what will be like the most operational efficiency changes that you can make. One very interesting thing that you can see is the trending of your intents. So over time, you will be able to see in detail what are the intents that you are getting more recurrently. And with this, you can drill down to understand further, to, to do further analysis. When you look to this breakdown, you will be able to understand by, for instance, looking to the reply time, what are what are the um, routing things that you can do? For instance, if you have a lot of uh, time on replay time, you can try to understand if there are any adjusting on your routing triggers that you could do, or even understand if you could change the agent that are handling with the ticket, the, the, um, the ticket based on their skills. You can redirect the ticket for the right agents or even to the groups. Another useful data point that we have here is the group stations. For instance, this can allow you to understand if the ticket is moving forward several group stations that you maybe can fine tuning, fine -tuning the routing that you have and make sure that you have the right teams dealing with, the, with the, the, the ticket. And this will help you on making sure that you have a good first reply time. One thing that we noticed that is very useful is to understand the one-touch versus multi-touch tickets. For example, this indicator can help you automate even more. For tickets that are one-touch, this might indicate that you can answer automatically to the user. When there are multi-touch tickets, you can drill down to understand what's the reason for these conversations are taking longer and adjust your workflows or knowledge base content to, the to reduce the resol resolution time. One thing that you can look is that you will have similar tabs for language and sentiment. There are very interesting metrics that you can look into both tabs and for instance, one of the things that we find more interesting is by drilling down by the sentiment, you can understand or act through this on these tickets and create specific uh, escalations or, uh, or routing before you have escalations from the customers. And in this way, you can improve the customer satisfaction. This was the demo for uh, the Intelligence Triage dashboards. I think that with this, you will be able to easily analyze your service operations 